In pull mode, the Sherman Riley PT3000 is capable of pulling up to 3,000 pounds of force. Remove the locking pins and slide the gearbox spline shaft into the drive bar. Secure the mechanism with the locking pins. Sherman Riley recommends that the manual payout brake be uncoupled. Unpin and slide the brake coupler back, disengaging it from the drive bar. Place the pulling rope through the level wind head and secure all rollers and retaining pins. Perform startup procedure from the operator's manual. At the system control panel, switch the unit to the pull mode by pressing the mode button. Adjust the line tension limit using the up-down arrow keys. The tension limits can be adjusted in 100 pound increments without halting operations by using the up-down arrow keys on the control panel. Maximum tension in pull mode is 3,000 pounds. Begin pulling by depressing the joystick trigger, then pulling back slightly on the joystick, bringing it out of center neutral position. Pause briefly for the brake to release. Once the brake releases, release the joystick trigger. Pull backward on the joystick until the desired rotation speed is reached. Once the speed is at the desired level, the joystick itself can be released. Manage the lay of the pulling line using the level wind. The level wind requires constant operator input. The operator controls the lateral side-to-side -side movement of the level wind with a thumb rocker switch located on top of the joystick. The operator must also control the turnaround of the level wind using this rocker switch. Note, the level wind lateral rocker switch is proportional. The harder it is pressed, the faster the level wind will move. Once the pull is complete and the operations have concluded, place the joystick control in the center neutral position with the trigger released and ensure the hydraulic drum brake is set. This will conclude pulling operations.